Hey guys, this is Dolly. Thanks for joining me. Today we really need to clean this RV. It's looking a little rough. So I'm going to show you all around and then we will start cleaning. Up here in the over cab area for now, we're just kind of using it as storage. We've got a lot of things we need to go through. Eventually we will rebuild this area and it'll look a lot nicer. But for now, this is what it looks like. In here we have a lot of trash and dirty clothes and it's just a mess. As you can see, we spend a lot of time in the bedroom. This is our medicine cabinet and I need to reorganize this as well. I'll give you a sneak peek underneath the sink to show you what that looks like. In here we keep a lot of our hand towels and up here we keep some of our clothes. You can see there was an attempt at organization in this area. This is Luke's coat closet. We've got some books in here as well. Up here we've got some shoes and we've got our record player that we need to get out eventually. Over here is just, it's just sad. <laughs> Underneath the sink here, we've got food and cleaners. And up top we have our dishes. Behind me here, I tried to move all of the cooking supplies so they're in one area. We keep some of our food up here as well. Luke and I are gonna go ahead and start by removing a lot of items from up here and just going through things and seeing what we have, refamiliarizing ourselves with everything. And now we're scratching our heads, trying to figure out where we're gonna put everything. <laughs> In a standard size home, I would usually start by cleaning the kitchen. I don't know why, that's just always where I've started. But in the RV, I think it's better to start from front to back. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning off the surfaces on the dining room table here, if I can get Spy to move. I'm not loyal to any cleaner at this point in time, except for Super Clean, which I won't be using in this video, but I'm just using a Lysol spray on the table here. All right, guys, get ready for some serious time lapse. This area actually took quite a while because we took everything off and we washed the surfaces and vacuumed and just did it all. As you know, sometimes when you're cleaning, things get moved around and areas look even messier than they did before. So yeah, this happened. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the kitchen area now. I'm gonna put away some cleaners and then we are going to get started on the dishes. You're gonna see a lot of water jugs around and that's because when we were boondocking, it was really, really hard to find potable water. So Luke just bought a few gallons from the store and we took that with us and we just held on to them. But I think today we're probably gonna trash most of that because we are mooch dogging at my sister's and we are hooked up to city water now, which is really nice. I like to try to do the dishes after we use them. Luke and I are pretty good on keeping up 
with that for the most part, but some nights you just don't feel like doing dishes and the sink piles up. That's what happened here. Back when we were still prepping the RV to live in, Luke got this really awesome faucet on Amazon. I think it was only around $30 and I freaking love this thing. It's got the extendable head, which makes it a lot easier to fill up the Brita filter and just rinse out the sink. And here is Spy photobombing. <laughs> We used the Dawn Power Wash and we just kind of spray it on the dishes, let it sit for a minute, and then scrub it off. Since we're hooked up to city water, we're a little bit more lenient on how we wash the dishes, but Usually what we'll do is we'll fill up the sink with a little bit of water and we'll wash everything and we'll fill the other side up with clean water and rinse it and then dry it because you really have to learn to conserve water living in an RV. And now my awesome husband is going to help dry the dishes We've tried with me washing or him washing and the other one rinsing, but <laughs> the sink area is just so small that it honestly makes it uncomfortable. So usually one of us will wash while the other one dries and it just makes it really easy. After we wash the dishes, I always make sure that we dry the sink out really well. I just have this thing about water being in the sink. I think it attracts bugs. I don't know, maybe I'm a weirdo. Do you guys do that too? Do you wash your sink out and rinse it and dry it after you've used it? Now that the dishes are all done, we can put the towels back where they go and we can start cleaning the surface of the kitchen area. I think today I used the Simple Green Concentrated Cleaner, but like I said, I'm not loyal to any brand. Sometimes I'll just use the Clorox wipes on it, but we're gonna go ahead and wipe the surface down really well. And Luke is working on putting the dishes away because he's amazing. And then I'm going to clean the stove and I think that will pretty much be it for the kitchen. I just find it so much easier to clean off the stove after you've cooked. Do you all do that every time you cook or do you have a certain day of the week that you clean the stove in the kitchen? Let me know. Believe it or not, Luke actually found this rug at Aldi's and I think it's so pretty. You can actually find a lot of neat stuff at Aldi's that you wouldn't think you could find. Now the kitchen and the living area is all clean and fresh. I'm really happy with it. And we're going to move on to the bathroom. I'm gonna get everything out of here that doesn't belong and pick up all these dirty clothes off the floor. I'm also gonna go ahead and pull everything out from underneath the sink and go through it, see if there's anything that I can get rid of or anything that I can combine. This area just needs a lot of love.
I'll go ahead and show you all what the underneath of the sink turned out like. We each have a bin. This is my bin here, and this is Luke's bin here. And underneath this is all of our cleaners. I'll probably end up going through this again. I messed around with the medicine cabinet a little bit, but not much. And now I'm gonna go ahead and clean all the glass in the bathroom. Now it's time to shake out the rugs and give it a good vacuuming. I really like this vacuum because it's small and lightweight and it has a light on it and it makes it so much easier to see the dirt. I also have the handheld vac that I use around the edges to get the litter up. Moving on to the bedroom and the bed, most importantly, every RVer's favorite part of their RV, right? Can you hear the sarcasm in my voice? It is so stinking hard to make an RV bed. Luckily, I have the help of my sweetie pie today, so we will get it done in half the time. There's nothing like going to bed on a fresh set of sheets. Can I get an amen? We're all done and now I'm gonna show you all what the RV looks like clean. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did please consider subscribing to our channel giving this video a thumbs up and saying hello in the comments we would love to hear from you i'll see you next wednesday same time same place